Ja, danke, ist das so. Der geht. Ja, so, der Ding ist eine. Da? 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 Nimm uns doch so ein Gitarre, ja, gebe ein Bezu, Rimbe, 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 Sie <coughs> Schäbe Masseva, Tunjutabe Dungeki, Zawa, Nyomo, Nyomo, Zawa, Timu Tenzi. Timu Tenzi, Timu Timu Tenzi, 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 Jingadi Chinjilogata Chinjilog, 
呃,其实马路和路肯定是结婚也吧。我的弟弟,他送我的话。这里也真不是一个人的送的要杀要的。呃,其实你刚才把电视机里上的主持,天安洋人,但是这些人们在去了,没,现在送下的,这里也没人在
And so the, this uh, afflicted intelligence, what it does is it misconceives reality. And therefore we are not able to see reality as it is because of this afflicted emotion, which is a misconception. And so this must be overcome from within our mind stream. And uh, then um, the, uh, called, uh, the Buddha also uh, cultivated the, the bodhicitta. So we have to couple these two, combine the understanding or insight into emptiness as well as the experience of bodhicitta in order to reach omniscient state and uh, thereby um, when in the process of uh, cultivating the path we uh, also overcome the imprints of those negative emotions completely and therefore the uh, th when you meditate uh, th uh, on compassion uh, coupled with the uh, bodhicitta, then you have the meditation or cultivation of the, the, the view of emptiness to f for fulfillment of your goal, complete fulfillment of your goal. And uh, now, um, and Master Tsongkhapa says, whatever you have taught about the Buddha in his uh, praise to the Buddha for teaching uh, relativity, uh, Master Tsongkhapa says, whatever you have te uh, taught us, and all your words are, that, uh, are only based on the, the principle of dependent origination. Um, uh, therefore, uh, there is no uh, teaching of you which does not lead to peace. And uh, so in this way, what we have to understand is we have to develop the understanding which sees reality as it is. And therefore, uh, we need to use our in intelligence and develop wisdom so that we are able to differentiate between what is right and what is wrong, what is positive and negative. And, um, so in this way, you develop the insight into emptiness by seeing the reality, how things are dependent and there's nothing absolute and uh, inherently existing. But the way things appear to us is as if they have uh, some kind of absolute or um, existence. And this needs to be overcome. Uh, the, the, the misperception which sees this way of existence needs to be overcome and completely and together with the the imprints left by it to reach omniscient state and therefore uh, even in the Shanti Devas ten uh, the the uh, the guide to the Bodhisattva way of life uh, the, which uh, comprise ten chapters but the essence of these ten chapters or uh, the whole book is the, uh, the, the, the that of uh, the compassion of bodhicitta and uh, view of emptiness. Ah, Donna, and the Janan Dijin, Vensik, Vensik, and the Dodi Gondrik Dijin Stoa, and the Lishin Yuna Sushati, Gai Kimbo Vensik Sushati. Then you knew Korea Redoa, Korea, the number came on Kavachi. Jenny Odi, and the Dinuna do. May this Jerry, said Dinalia, any. Chambo, <laughs> 
कंधे ही नदी कंधा दी शिमजू शेवा जो रेशा जैसे कंधा यूँ ही ना चांबे जैसे वे अंदर चांबे टेंगा से नंगी यूँ जाती तो तो जंग पहले लियो टांबो लियो निबटी मिले लियो निबटी पहले गरुस जाने सुनो तो आ ते वो चुम्बन जी का रेस्ट हो जाती ऐनी शिवसा जी ते लोग लेंग देंग तोगे बारे नालो उम्मी निंग बे रंगे तोगे बारे नालो लिया तेजी करो क्या बात सुनता है इन्हीं शिवले शिवले ना तेजी करो सुनो तो आ चार जंग का ते वो चुम्बन जी का मारे से ना अमुने चुम्बिया रहला थरी कैसे इन्हें पैन थायवेंद जाना ना दवाले ते वो चुम्बन जी का मारे से ना सुने जिन्दे थरी कैसे इन्हें ये बारे कैसे दिया चुप्पी की नज़ू में जो से ताला लमे चुप्पी शायद दे संजीत का मारे से ताला लमे चुप्पी कंजूम जिसे गोरे से ने और तुम दिसे दिसे से चुप्पी की नज़ू में जो से कहाँ तक तेज़ का संजीत का मारे से ने तेरी किसी ने शेंगे यारे अ तो नुशो के क्या बात है ना लोले तेज़ की दो दिन मंगुजी ऐनी चीज़ सुनोगे मत और संजय सुन या मारे से ने सिंगे दिन दो आ चेने वो ऐने मैं निम्न चीज़ किसी चुन कहीं दे दो दिन तक रोज ने दो इन दो चीज़ संजय का मारे संजय का मारे से मारे सा तो चीज़ सुन रहे से संजय शुद्ध से ने या मारे से दे वो ना गोबुल रुकी ने दो कुंडली तीव्र ना जो लूंगे तो ठान दो आस्ते ने तो दो कुंडली तीव्र तो लोग सुन मारे सा है ना लविया से क्या मज़ो तान कसरा ना तो ना जो सिक्से शुगुदे लुटुक सुन दो कुंडली तीव्र मार ठान दोगा चाचा का दावा चाबे दो कुंडली तीव्र गुम लुटुक जैसे भी दो कुंडली तीव्र ये बादी दावा चाबे सिक्से ना सेव दोगा Saya tidak risa. Saya tidak cius untuk siang itu. Sangat banyak orang yang European, di Nangshu Kogi, di Profesor Risa. Jadi, sangat jom jom dia risa ke tim Marisa. Sudah di kasih mendo, kasih mendo. Ini nak kita siapa dia? Karena siapa ni pun nak dia. Ini. Pakai jenis itu dah syarif pun ni cuci ni nak jari. Jadi orang syarif pakai jenis ni dia cuci ni nampak tu dia di korang nak lihat tu betul dia ni kasar leda jenis. Pakai jenis ni dia kasut dia mid min kami nama ni jenis ni, tapi kami nama ni jenis ni kiri. Jadi dia kasar leda jenis ni macam tu, yang mana? Karena jenis ni dia tinggal di mana baju. Samun nanya tinggal di dunia baru, ini siam di syarif itu, ini papa jenis ni, cewah ni nanya siapa dia, kansa thamai baju jenis ni manja na, dah syarif itu cuma tujuh ribu nasi rupa, raya. Jadi orang kata, kalau dua tiga, dia kansa leh dah cik mali ya, ye betul tu, saya pun tak risa. Jadi orang kata, cenderung sebab cahaya, cenderung sebab kuno sampai tu, ini. Jangan ambil sokong tu senyum dulu ni, cuci ni nampak macam macam tu. So di negri kita ni, kalau kasar leda sih kan, kalau susu sebab negri kita ni, ah, yang raja sih susu macam macam, yang raja sih susu macam negri kita ni, yang raja kerja ni ada macam macam. Jadi orang kata, tesan tu, yang raja kerja ni ada macam macam, tapi saya kata macam macam tu, lebih aja cuci orang tu. So di negri ini, ah, ah. Dah sak boleh judi kuat tu cerdik. Di dalam kansa kerja ni dah tempat cizen sini, ni cini. Dah pali nampak susah beti, dah nangsi cerah sih beti na. Pali nampak susah beti di tempat cizen sini, sama lor tong tu aja. Dah terlalu tua na. Tengsin ke sini di di lekja ke tol ya, cuma ni ke kanan ni. Di ni apa pun nak ni ya, cik sejuk sembah. अभी ना बोलेगा तो 
<laughs> so as I said earlier um, in the morning, um, we talk about the uh, Pali tradition of Buddhism and Sanskrit tradition uh, of Buddhism, and, and especially within the Sanskrit tradition, we talked about the uh, secret Mantrayana tradition. And so um, with regarding the secret Mantrayana tradition, there were people, who, uh, the, the, the Sanskrit tradition, there were people even before uh, Master Nagarjuna's time that uh, they were uh, who said that Sanskrit uh, tradition or Mahayana is not the, the Mahayana teachings are not the uh, words of the Buddha. And so uh, regarding this point, uh, Master Nagarjuna himself raises it and argues um, for Mahayana uh, being uh, the uh, teaching of the Buddha. And then in the case of uh, Maitreya Nath, Lord Maitreya, um, uh, he also mentions this uh, and argues with, uh, for Mahayana being the teaching of the Buddha uh, in his Sutra Alamkara, the second chapter um, uh, of Sutra Alamkara, um, uh, Mahayana Sutra Alamkara. 
And uh, then, uh, so with regard to Maitreya, uh, there is some mention of uh, uh, Maitreya being a uh, son of uh, his mother, whose name was Maitri. And so because of that, uh, he, he got the name Maitri, Maitri uh, after his mother. And so uh, this, was men- this is mentioned in a commentary on Sutra Unraveling the Intention of the Buddha, which was written by uh, an, a Korean Buddhist scholar, um, in the, uh, a Korean Buddhist scholar, um, and this was translated into Tibetan from Chinese, and so uh, this master's name was Wenzek, and is Wenzek, and so he mentions this in his commentary, um, and so we need to check that uh, out. Um, the Madreya who is in the uh, Tushita heaven, uh, perhaps may not have uh, any mud- uh, parents, but uh, this uh, commentary talks about the Madreya being the son of, because of being the son of Madri, his mother, he got this name. Um, and uh, then, uh, Further on, on, we have Master Bhav Viveka in uh, in his blaze of reasoning. Also, he uh, uh, argues that Mahayana is the teaching of the Buddha. And then also Shanti Deva does this in his Buddhacharya Bodhisattva Charya Avatara. And so there were these um, uh, contention from other scholars that Mahayana was not a teaching of the Buddha. And even t- in the past, even today, we have people, for example, in China and Taiwan, uh, people who say this, that Mahayana is not the teaching of the Buddha. Uh, perhaps some of them may be saying this out of political reason for political reasons uh, because they say that um, uh, the Dalai Lama is not teaching the true Buddhism um, and so there are people even today who uh, who uh, consider Mahayana teaching as not being the teaching of the Buddha and then there are of course um, Western scholars as well who say this and so once I asked uh, a Western scholar um, about, uh, I pointed out in such and such, there are so many th- uh, sutras which are the teaching of the Buddha, and said, he said, no, it's not, these are not teaching of the Buddha. And then uh, I argued that uh, if these are not the teaching of the Buddha, then these um, um, uh, are, why does Nagarjuna actually quote these um, sutras in his Sutra Samuchaya? And uh, this scholar said, even that Sutra Samuchaya was not written by Nagarjuna. And so, so um, and then uh, if, uh, if that is the case, then uh, why does uh, Chandrakirti in his uh, Prasanapada, the clear words, cite uh, quotations from uh, Sutra Samuchaya? And it's very clearly uh, cited there in his clear words, uh, the, the, some of the uh, passages from Sutra Samuchaya uh, by Nagarjuna. And um, we have Western uh, um, uh, one sp- uh, Western scholar even told me that the Buddha didn't know Sanskrit at all. And uh, of course, uh, these scholars are not to be blamed for saying these things. Um, what we have to understand is that we need to make, uh, be able to differentiate between the different teachings of the Buddha, which were given to different audiences. Uh, for example, if you look at the uh, dialogue between uh, Shariputra and Ch- uh, Avalokiteshvara uh, that you find in the Heart Sutra. Um, there may have been people in that audience who were listening to the teach and dialogue, uh, who were able, who were able to see Avalokiteshvara having a dialogue with Sh- uh, Shariputra. Um, but then, um, for ordinary, uh, so those may those uh, call, uh, audi- uh, people or audience uh, people in the, uh, beings in the audience may have uh, been those who have some pure vision, and uh, there may be uh, otherwise. If an ordinary person without any pure vision or pure karma. Um, who cannot see Avalokiteshvara, uh, if they uh, were to see um, the Shariputra uh, talking, they may see, they may find that Shariputra was talking to himself. So, um, 
uh, there are sutras which were taught uh, popularly amongst uh, the people who have pure vision, and uh, the, there were those who um, un call, um, were um, and uh, taught not popularly, but then uh, those uh, sutras which were taught very popularly and well uh, called well known amongst the audience, and so we have to be able to make uh, this. Um, differentiation between the teachings that we find, for example, in the Pali uh, canons, uh, there are those teachings which were given uh, to a popular um, audience and popularly, ordinary people, and um, popularly known, and uh, then there are those cases of secret teachings. Um, for example, sacred Mantrayana teachings, which were uh, meant for very specific disciples. And there may be also sutras which are meant for very specific uh, audiences and not for all. And, uh, and so it's very important for us to make this differentiation between the two levels, of the different levels of disciples of the Buddha. And so, um, we therefore, with the, what the arguments that we find in these different texts written by Nagarjuna and all these masters are very good to uh, see this differentiation, uh, the, the difference between the audiences. And uh, with, uh, one time, I, in a way, kind of desperately said to some. Uh, 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 some uh, scholar that regarding in history of India, perhaps the Indians know better, um, are more familiar with it, have, have better knowledge, and uh, therefore I said that between the Nagarjuna and scholars of today who uh, are, who live who are living now to uh, more than 2,500 years after the Buddha's passing away, whereas Nagarjuna lived only about four or five um, hundred years after the Buddha. So Nagarjuna may be more uh, familiar with Indian history, maybe uh, more knowledgeable about that. And then Nagarjuna was uh, so on the one hand being an Indian, and on the other hand Nagarjuna uh, also um, Nagarjuna lived only about a few centuries. Uh, only a few centuries uh, after the Buddha's passing away. And then, of course, I even if, um, having said that, if Nagarjuna were somebody who just um, based his ideas on speculations and uh, taking f uh, t take things just for granted and not uh, doing any kind of rational analysis, then we may not be able to um, actually uh, take him, his words, uh, no authority, um, but then Nagarjuna was not uh, someone like that. He was a rational person who even examined the teaching of the Buddha and made this different uh, uh, distinction between what are the provisional teachings and what are the definitive teachings of the Buddha. And therefore, uh, for these reasons, one for, for being Indian and uh, who is more uh, familiar with uh, the Indian history, and secondly, for having lived, because he lived only a few centuries after the Buddha, he may be more familiar with the history of uh, Buddhism and history of India and then uh, thirdly because he is not just somebody who believes uh, anything he hears but he is rational person so therefore um, we could uh, kind of say that Nagarjuna uh, is more authoritative on the Indian history than those of the scholars of today.
Tap 
바로도 심에 태백 거니 송시하래. 바로도 심에 태백 거니 꾸시 남자 송시하면 돼. 야, 룸리 송을 했어. 원이 놓 쏘자다. 뒤지면 주변에 죽은 자가 당신 보다 맛이 난다. 주시네. 영자 딱 꾸시 쓰네. 그래서 송대야. 송대야. 뒤에 삼로 동사. 십사고 더 삼담이 있나? 나라미 거니 송시하래. 뉴머리 집에 왜세세야 뒤등에 꾸신 주불로 뒤기. 고아지 말해나 꾸시 써야 되다 롱송으로 뛰어서 하람 하람 쓰자 자 뒤에 인도산에 빨리기 신문하리야 숭샤바 뒤뒤기 잡댄디 렉자기 신문하리야 시징이 신문하리야 잡댄 차이 무도가 시징이 신문 공지를 잡댄디 잡댄 차이 무도가 뒤에기 신문하리야 잡댄디 말라미 그는 숭샤바 뒤 배지 임에 소시도 자 도우스야 사무담에 있나 Just a turn of some time, do Jabas, 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 some dozen, some damina. Any shinny, uh, Sandy, that got another pair of conjures only here. Gonda Nalin the Chugune Marcheni, do a shisha. Dig on the chancel nebetium. Dig on the ya, any? No, nebetiumni. Donna, children and the teacher, none don't do a lot of gas on a shinky, the day chicky. That lam chas on Giana. Then by young soul, quite cheap, 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 이 땜에서 저다. 와야. 에니 디제이운드 가고 싶다. 다 고지 볼땐 삼단 잡아쟁이. 삼단. 당에디 휴주체니 태초기잖아. 야 자주 뭐 고마워 그래. 저도 삼단아. 에 땜에서 저도 도사 저 공식적이운데 어 숭가망가매 숭셔버리디. 좀 된데 나무 가서 오다 너 나무 나무 숭셔봐 되게 잡댄디 너 치마 치마 막 숭셔봐다 이 타도 미 귤마 두 대지 배지 이미 소시도 어 되네 저리샤 다 어디 태진 거주 상아 거주 배지 너 좋아지 태보 치마 산지 가이마 와 이네 나무 산지 배 상아 지다 이어 다두 상단 지두 대지 자산 제로 주식 소냐 드리자. 땜배 문주시에는 땜발라 이진입에 따로 강원쇼스. 그는 사만 남는 날이야. 또바 참에 띠고 입어 두인 두잔에 어. 더 땡실 랑도 디디베 가서 우리 배 친지 말로 숨네. 가다 내리 터도 잡고 땜발이야. 아니 밀로 입어 이 두잔에 아니 문도 터졌던 말이 또 로용 말이 신 두냐 디디. 소소 똥니 따라 가는 제야지 배지라샤. 단 남자 나라, 안데 뛰는 중 잠을 들었어, 그 야마리 뒤. 이네 다 뒤, 공부 터들 뒤, 우마 칠세 나라. 아, 조심 주의하지. 쉬우 쉬우쉬우 부르셔야 돼. 또 새고 공부 시나, 이 야구도 안. 아, 디디, 디디, 찬스, 지, 신, 과, 지, 리, 샤. 신, 디, 지, 니, 야, 슈, 고, 미, 지, 기, 어, 티, 보, 시, 보, 사, 니, 까, 마, 리, 슬, 로, 나, 아, 마, 사, 마, 슬, 니, 아, 파, 트, 가, 디, 티, 니, 다, 샤, 소, 니, 라, 와, 디, 사, 아, 사, 디, 펜, 디, 치, 디, 베, 리, 니, 컨, 주, 문, 주, 크, 쿵, 야, 마, 리, 스, 니, 가, 주, 바, 쿵, 디, 시, 시, 당, 주, 치, 도, 와, 티, 안, 소, 라, 다, 리, 야, 리, 치, 다, 바, 루, 쿵, 치, 시, 동, 루, 당, 치, 시, 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 니, 어, 나 주산지 이제 이나 할롬 할롬 뉴기니아다 아프리카다 또 몽골이야 방콘이 십십도 와. 어다 이니 다 들어도 지가 지가 소지 마 진짜. 어 드리리. 저 드리 이니 디 장수 시험 가르셔. 디 지금 시험 봐 이나. 어 다디. 그두 년을 다 대별라마 몽대 사우스에서. 
ဆောင်းလွတ်ချင်းတော့မတာရဲ့မတော့ရှင်မိတိတိစကီရတယ်ဆမ်းဆိုတော့ထင်းစီတာ <clears throat> so uh, the more important thing that we have to keep in mind is uh, what we usually call the four reliances uh, with regard to the teaching of the Buddha, um, relying not on the person but on the teaching, and within the teaching not just on the words but relying on, more on the meaning, and then within the meaning not relying on the provisional meaning but the definitive ones, and uh, within the definitive teaching then not relying on the ordinary consciousness, understanding just in the, uh, on the uh, level, ordinary conscious level, consciousness level, but uh, the relying on the um, deep uh, wisdom. And so, um, uh, in this way, we have to check the teaching of the Buddha um, through these four reliances. And uh, if we look at the teaching of the Pali, in teaching that we find in the Pali uh, uh, tradition, uh, of course, there was teaching on the Four Noble Truths, and then also um, the teaching about the Buddha becoming an, an uh, a uh, fully enlightened one after having uh, uh, accumulated uh, merits and wisdom for over three countless, countless eons. And uh, for these, of course, they have reasons, but uh, very few reasons are given, um, but uh, not rigorously um, analyzed and examined. Um, so um, what we have to understand is that in the Sanskrit tradition, and so uh, in the Pali tradition, uh, mainly the Buddha himself is taken as the authoritative person, and on the basis of that, the teachings are taken um, to be authoritative and uh, there's not much uh, critical um, examination and analysis of the teaching like it is done in the Sanskrit tradition where much reasoning is used and uh, uh, most importantly the uh, understanding of emptiness um, to understand the reason and the emptiness and uh, the teaching of uh, something that is th within the Buddhist teaching of the Buddha, something which is common to all the different philosophical traditions within Buddhism is the teaching on dependent origination. And now with regard to dependent origination, of course, there are different levels of understanding dependent origination. There's the causal law of uh, understanding dependent in terms of how things are causally uh, uh, brought about by uh, and, uh, and then there is also the understanding of how things are uh, contingent upon one uh, other factors, and then finally how things are merely uh, called. Uh, 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 merely uh, designated and so uh, by understanding uh, how things are contingent what we can and uh, how thing how uh, the, the contingency of things is visible um, we uh, can understand uh, called uh, draw the conclusion that things also are based on causes and conditions and so the law of causality could be understood uh, on the basis of understanding the relativity of things um, and then uh, recently during my uh, meeting with Thai Buddhists, um, um, we also he had um, the discussions and then after discussions with me, they also had discussions with uh, uh, some other Tibetan Buddhist scholars and uh, in those discussions what uh, we learned clearly is that uh, when, when someone uh, reaches the state of nirvana, uh, there are uh, there is this state of nirvana which is called nirvana with residue and nirvana without residue and so um, at the time of the rest nirvana without residue what the thai buddhist uh, uh, call assert is that there's uh, the continuity of the mind itself, the awareness is um, ceases. And so this is something that is also mentioned in uh, Master Nagarjuna's 60 verses on reasoning, uh, where he um, sets up that position and then uh, call, uh, refutes it through reasoning. And so 
um, we we need to understand these uh, the, 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 the continuation of the mind even after someone has become enlightened or reached nirvana that uh, once there is reached with this uh, thing called the nirvana without residue there is still mind um, left and so this can be um, understood very precisely if we base ourselves on uh, understanding on the highest yoga tantra presentation or system of presenting how the mind uh, works and so without which it's very difficult to um, hold on to that position of the mind continuing on and so uh, we need to uh, think about this closely and especially in the highest yoga tantra there's this teaching on the innate luminous awareness and so based on that we have to be able to hold on to the position of the four no uh, bodies buddha bodies um, uh, presented in the highest yoga tantra and um, therefore from this what we also need to understand is that what is presented in the Pali system regarding the Four Noble Truths and uh, especially the, um, the uh, cessation, uh, that of the true cessation, it is more rigorously um, analyzed and uh, call, uh, demonstrated in the Perfection of Wisdom Sutras, which in turn are supported uh, further by the highest Yoga Tantra teachings. And so in this way, uh, we have to also understand that it in Tibet, we have the complete system or teaching of the Buddha, which in turn is also not just based on blind faith, but reason-based. And um, otherwise, um, without understanding how um, the teachings of the Pali uh, tradition can be supported by uh, and uh, called explicated further by the um, through these teachings of the perfection of wisdom, and that in turn being supported by the highest yoga tantra and so forth, um, when some one, when you meet someone who actually comes up with this challenge saying that the teaching of the Buddha, uh, Mahayana is not teaching of the Buddha and so forth, um, you would have to um, rather uh, uh, go, uh, say that um, this is so because my Lama says so and so forth. And so um, when uh, you meet with people who come up with such challenges saying that who actually has the, uh, known that the um, called the Buddha was an authoritative person, an authentic, uh, who gave this authentic teaching and so forth, you would have to be able to give reasons to support yourself, to back yourself up. Um, otherwise, if when you meet someone like the, uh, who come up with this challenge, uh, you may have to say something which uh, Gindun Chambal, the controversial Tibetan scholar, uh, uh, had said uh, in his writings. He said, um, if you are asked um, how, who actually f uh, has pr uh, found or demonstrated that uh, the Buddha was an authoritative person, then you would say, oh, masters like Nagarjuna have found that and demonstrated it. And then when you ask further, who found Ma Nagarjuna to be authoritative, you would say, oh, my Lama actually has found that. And then finally, you would have to say, uh, when you're pushed, um, who knows that your Lama is an author authoritative person, you would have to say, I know it. And so you would be rather desperate to say something like that without having good reasons to support your uh, thesis regarding the teachings of the Buddha. Um, and um, um, I may apologize for uh, if I'm being too blunt, but you have to actually uh, uh, call uh, uh, when you meet with people who uh, put up such challenges, you would have to face them and uh, actually uh, be able to explain to them how the pr uh, earlier teachings of the Buddha are supported further by the later teachings and finally uh, the highest yoga tantra teachings. So in this way, if you can actually demonstrate to them how these teachings are presented in the different uh, different uh, uh, traditions, um, then you will be able to stand on your um, faith, I mean, to, to, uh, to hold your position well. And so uh, by teaching the understanding, the teaching, so Lama Tsongkhapa says, 
Uh, by understanding the nature of the teaching, may I feel convinced of the teacher uh, and, and uh, have faith in him. And so you have to base yourself on reason. Of course, uh, when it comes to proving the Buddha to be authoritative person, uh, someone who is uh, called unmistaken in regard to what he has taught, uh, in the Pramana Vartika, there is this mention of the, uh, the reason that is given finally is that because he has a, uh, the Buddha had um, familiarized himself with great compassion for eons and eons. Of course, that reasoning finally has to get back to the understanding of the, the Buddha's understanding, the uh, um, uh, dependent, how things are dependently originated. And so you should keep this in mind and then don't feel shocked when you meet with I mean, challenges from people who may um, be at, I mean, uh, trying to challenge you, uh, saying that teaching of the, the Mayan is not teaching of the Buddha and so forth. You would have to stand up to your position and um, use these reasonings and uh, then uh, hold on to your position. In the worst case scenario, sometimes it might happen that you may meet, meet with people who say, oh, Tibetan Lama says, so, says such and such things because of their blind faith in the teaching and uh, they don't have any reason. So when you uh, meet with such people, of course, you have to reason out to them how the teaching of, of the Buddha teaches the truth and how the Buddha himself was an authoritative um, person. Ajani Pachan Dimitra That dear Levin, the chances you love to do. Nangyama Tunju Tungulolia Chilchukun could get to Tungulolia. A Moscow delivery. The uh, Ulan Udi, any Ulan Bador, Chintu Tungulonia. To the United Moscolia, Urus is changed with the Kashish Tui. Chenio, the Chenu Gondi, those Kishu. And then I'm a Shiver Gorsma, those Kishu. And on yet Mixer, nice of a nice of a chin, Gomes of a tea, any Yulusin Levy. Deep as a cat, you yati, Yawish Mosuman. She Yulus Levadara, now some soul said some cause, soul said some corny. Tell you, what did you get a resa? Any? In case you have me do. Chenny, you know, that ne, remember, remember, any. Nadi Cheney within it, that lost some hassimbury. America Cheney within it, European Cheney, the Manja America, the European, and Moscow University, the Nigger Cheney of Hashan Tori. Cheney or not the Cheney Tonto Tobe Catulia, the Moscow Cheney within the Cashel Leore. Cheney or that lost some hassimbury. The Cheney Winnie Dolia Kuduciagi, uh, Henri. Kuducha, Coco Chumberi, then got the good Lushi Jews called. My Saint William Dolia, Kuduchi, Kuducha, and the Badu Rosin. Then they get you any, Nanda, Moshimaji, Emirge, Emirgeji, or Namore, Namato Nazing, Pell Namor Nazing. In the Saint William Dol Jachadi, Subso Shachores, any science is. Killer, killer of religion. Change is that the church never so many does. So, so such a word is that. Well, sounds time. Sounds time, any. Any. 
So in 1979, I visited Moscow, and then in that same year, I visited Ulaanbaatar, Ulan Ude, and when I was in Moscow, I met with some Russian scientists, and uh, we discussed about the mind and sensory, so um, consciousness and other uh, subjects, and when we discussed about the consciousness, we uh, discussed about the five sense consciousnesses, and uh, also um, about the mental consciousness, and so when I 
uh, talked about mental consciousness, the uh, sci Russian scientists somehow got the idea of a soul, and uh, uh, that may have been because of bad translation at that time. And so they immediately said, "Oh, that is something that, that that's a matter of religion, religious matter, and not uh, for us to discuss." And so. Um, after that, then, um, for the last over 30 years, I have had dialogues with scientists, modern scientists, very renowned and respected uh, scientists uh, in the West. And um, for um, so uh, before having before I started these dialogues with scientists, the Western scientists, then around 40 years ago, I met. Um, I uh, I actually expressed this wish to have discussions with scientists uh, to an American friend who was a Buddhist, um, who who is a Buddhist, and. Uh, when I said this, uh, expressed this wish, he said, "Oh, be careful! Science is killer of religion." Then I thought, uh, in the Nalanda tradition, uh, this may not be the case. Maybe it's the case with other religious traditions, but not the Nalanda tradition, because in this tradition, um, even the Buddha's words are uh, examined um, for the. Um, um, whether they should be taken literally or not, and the distinction between definitive and provisional teachings are made, and through thorough and rigorous examination and analysis. And so, uh, just as the Buddha himself has said, O oh monks and scholars, just as a gold is tested by burnishing, um, burnishing, rubbing, and uh, cutting, likewise you should test and examine my teaching, and then uh, believe and uh, take it, and but not out of your devotion to me. And so, um, the Nalanda tradition followed that um, uh, spirit uh, of uh, doing f uh, critical analysis of the teaching of the Buddha in itself. And so I found that in this tradition, Nalanda tradition, there is no contradiction in um, call, uh, doing discussion, having discussions with scientists. And uh, with scientists, when I have discussions with them, of course uh, we are not discussing about Buddhism as such, Buddhism, Buddhist religion as such, but what we are discussing is about the reality of things and consciousness, and um, uh, including co about consciousness. And, uh, and the, the, the there are four uh, main fields uh, that w I have uh, involved myself in my discussions with scientists, which are cosmology, neurobiology, uh, physics, uh, particularly uh, quantum physics and psychology. And so um, when, when it comes to talking about the reality of things uh, in Buddhism, this, uh, ev everything is said to be dependently originated, dependently arisen. And so this uh, idea of ev things being dependent is something which is liked by the scientists as well. And uh, um, so uh, the scientists are, of course, taking interest in uh, studying from and learning uh, f uh, from uh, the uh, teaching of the Buddha, uh, not uh, for some kind of uh, entertainment or any uh, called uh, some kind of gratification, but for um, to learn about Buddhist psychology, emotions, including emotions and the nature of things. Of course, when it comes to um, uh, talking about the physical nature of things, uh, science is much advanced. But then today, many renowned and respected scientists take interest in learning about emotions, working of our mind, and, um, and uh, neuroscientists are interested to learn about how our emotions work and how um, what actually provokes emotions and so forth. And and how to tackle our negative emotions and so forth. And then uh, there are medical scientists who also learn about mind in order to, uh, as part of the training of the mind, and um, uh, so that they could actually give training to people to make them more, uh, have them more peaceful um, uh, experience. And uh, of course, they do experiments on when they learn about all these emotions. They they have uh, programs that are set up for people, and uh, they do uh, an experimentation of uh, the. Um, uh, 
difficult uh, d d uh, an examination of the people's mind and emotions. And uh, there are three major uh, American universities which are involved in such research and experiment. Uh, there is Wisconsin University, Emory University, Stanford University, and there are other universities as well. Um, in the 1960s, um, the Chinese communist propaganda, I mean, they, they uh, distribute leaflets in which uh, they, they have written at one time in the 60s that Tibetan Buddhism is uh, bl based on blind faith and therefore uh, we need, need not do anything. We need not put efforts to wipe it out, but it will be wiped out uh, once uh, science, um, the scientific, um, there is scientific progress and advancements. And uh, th that is written, if you, I mean, those of you who have come from Tibet, you would know that uh, it's written in something uh, called Article 37 or something like that. And uh, this is what they have said, the Chinese communists. But today, when you look at the interaction between science and Tibetan Buddhism, um, we are able to see, everyone is able to see that we go um, called shoulder to shoulder, um, um, called, um, instead of uh, the Tibetan Buddhism being able to be wiped out. I mean, um, the, we are able to go on par with science. and. Uh, then, uh, th when it comes to checking about how our emotions arise, of course there are certain um, brain electrical movements or um, which give rise to some thoughts and emotions. But then there are al also cases where mere thinking, mere mental reflections can have impact on the mind. And so, uh, so far science has not been able to differentiate between the conceptual mind and non-conceptual mind. Um, but um, I have been telling the scientists that the differentiation uh, between these two must be done and it's possible uh, if you check um, how emotions arise and which that in turn uh, has impact on the brain instead of the brain actually triggering these emotions the um, call on um, it's the uh, how things can uh, call work other way around and so um, scientists are taking interest in uh, um, called these um, called uh, emotions uh, that I described in uh, and explained in uh, Buddhism um, and some of them even have said to me uh, there is a one old scientist who is uh, an expert on emotions uh, and have, has told me that uh, I mean he told me that after having interaction and dialogue with the uh, Buddhist uh, scholars um, he became much calmer person he used to be very short-tempered in the past but that has uh, subsided and he's a much peace, um, uh, calmer uh, person. And then later on I met his wife also and she confirmed the same thing. And um, she told me my husband used to be a very angry person before, now he has changed. And so this kind of effect can be felt by people. So if there's no truth in our oh yeah. teaching, then scientists will not be able to um, uh, confirm it through their research. And so we are going to have a meeting on the 14th of January and uh, with some scientists here in Delhi. And I wish some Russian scientists could participate in it. In the past, on few occasions, we had uh, some R Russian scientists um, from <coughs> Moscow University, perhaps. And uh, this is uh, oh yeah. useful. So now we we'll go through the text. <laughs> <coughs> 18th century, 18th century, Nalia, 8th century, 8th century, Lia Javis in the Sudwa, Chakanda, Gobushuale, Ta, uh, already, Nella, love to Zepta, Tishu de Junju Ze. Uh, 
这个老师的学生都都差点了，上学生中国的都差点了。呃，这里你的学生的困难嘛，是不是？你的学生中国的都差点了。呃，这里你的学生的困难嘛，是不是？你的学生中国的都差点了。呃，这里你的学生的困难
uh, commentary on the Bodhicitta, on Bodhicitta, and the other is Ratnavali, the uh, jewel garland. And then when it comes to the touching, uh, teaching on the emptiness, Master Nagarjuna, uh, Master Shandideva seems to have followed the same tradition uh, of as uh, Buddha Palita, Master Buddha Palita, and Master Chandrakirti, who do not uh, assert um, in uh, the. Uh, intrinsic existence of things or self-defined characteristics of things even in convention. So it's all in this read the uh, title of the text uh, which in Sanskrit is Bodhisattva Charya Avatara and Tibetan which translates as Guide to the Bodhisattva Way of Life and homage to all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And then the first two yeah, verses. Verse number one and two. Sadi Nyan Ali Bida. Um Mondo Jing Dandrava catch you now on the mis now on the me. Papa Dridi Nyananda uh Lobus Sambu Gana. No, Rangarji, <coughs> Changju <coughs> Nella Rangdingla Changju Durumbaji Shingula Changju said Seme Negodua Sadly in the Zane Changju Niji Lodi the Shiruimbu what Shiru that's a Samasla that is Shiru which the Reji Chakanda Yoni Chisaranda Shiru Changju mix at Changju Sempa Shiru Changju mix De Trojani Ninji Semjan so with regard to the title um, engaging in the bodhisattva's deeds or guide to bodhisattva way of life here uh, the tibetan term is changchup uh, for bodhisattvas and uh, um, so Jabala Jupa means to engage in the Buddhist practices. So engaging in the practice of Bodhisattvas means according to Vimukti Sen Vimukti Sena's commentary on Abhisamaya Alamkara and uh, the uh, twenty-five thousand lines of Prajnaparamita Sutras, he uh, um, he says that the bodhisattvas, with their compassion, they intend uh, or they focus on uh, enlightenment or Buddhahood, and uh, with compassion, they focus on sentient beings. So, uh, this in compassion, in turn, is complemented by the uh, former um, uh, understanding or former intention to uh, reach Buddhahood. Um, now, here, when we talk about Buddha, uh, reaching Buddhahood, you talk also about cultivation of bodhicitta the altruistic intention uh, to become a Buddha for the benefit of sentient beings. And so when you talk about 
um, using your wisdom or intelligence and focusing uh, to become uh, your mind on enlightenment, what you are actually um, uh, doing is that you first try to understand um, what that enlightenment is and whether it is possible to attain uh, it or not and therefore you use reason to support that uh, there is the possibility of attaining enlightenment or bodhi, the state of bodhi and having understood and having um, co uh, gained insight into the possibility of their, 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 their this enlightenment for yourself then you also think of other sentient beings and who, um, who are um, called, um, in samsara, suffering in samsara, and you feel compassion towards them, and then also think that uh, the, the, because it's possible to reach Buddhahood for myself, it is also possible for reach but, uh, for others sentient beings also to reach that Buddhahood, and therefore you dedicate yourself to work to lead all sentient beings to that state of uh, enlightenment, and so. You have Jibana intention Jibana. Jibana. to become Jibana. a Buddha Jibana. and Jibana. intention to help Jibana. sentient beings to become liberated. Jibana. 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 Liu Tambu, Semjig Penison, then Semjig Sunyat, said that in a man, Semjin, the Chabra Lavati, Druid Chabat, said, then any Shirley, Nalia, Debussy, Namsha, Chicksoni, that the Druid Chabat, said, what in it? And so, um, having become someone who is dedicated to lead all sentient beings to enlightenment, having understood that po it's possible, then you engage in the practices of bodhisattvas. And so, within the uh, jipa or engagement, here there is the resultant goal, which is the, uh, the fulfilled um, practice, which is to say, uh, reaching Buddhahood, uh, which is the final result uh, that you uh, gain. Um, after having engaged in the bodhisattva practices and then the means by which you are led to that goal of enlightenment uh, uh, comprise of the bodhisattva practices like the six perfections and so forth and so in this way you have the practices uh, in terms of what you accomplish and then in terms of how what means you use to accomplish that goal and therefore within bodhisattva charya avatara um, uh, there is uh, these, the chapters could be divided into uh, the, the, the first chapter shows the benefit of bodhicitta or uh, advantages of cultivating bodhicitta and then you also have the how uh, accepting or beholding bodhicitta or um, um, upholding bodhicitta and uh, then the rest of the chapters show uh, the different practices such as the six perfections Chan Matia Two 
Mabasbudu, Tokjana, Tari to Sani to Sana, uh Nema Chik Losha Didi, Yan she never chick say Sorchida. Yang could talk to you to several shy move. So um, you have come here spending much money, and uh, because of that, and uh, you should, your time here should be made uh, meaningful and fruitful. And therefore, I will stop teaching at three o'clock. And uh, of course, I'm not uh, well, um, also. And uh, uh, after my teaching, then you can get back into the hall and uh, have discussion and clarification, question and answer session with uh, Yang Ding Rinpoche uh, from. 3.30 to around 5 o'clock. So you can put questions to him and uh, have clarification. So we'll stop here for today.